Hi, welcome to Acme's Game Builder. I'm Rolly, and today we're going to learn how to make a sprite. To do this, we're going to be using an online sprite creator called Piskel, which you can find at piskelapp.com. You can log into Piskel using a Google account, which will allow you to save your sprites to a gallery. If you don't want to do that, you can just create your own sprite now. Now that we're in the Piskel editing space, you can see on the left I've got a whole bunch of tools that will help me to create my sprite. In the middle I've got my editing space where I actually put a uh, pixel, I guess, to screen to create my sprite. On the right hand side you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of other settings and tools as well, including an option for me to change the size of the sprite that I'm going to create. I choose 100 by 100 pixels because that gives me a good space to create a nice and detailed sprite. Some of the tools you'll be using to create your sprite are the pen tool which allows you to create a mark on your canvas, the fill tool which allows you to fill any enclosed marks that you've made, or the erase tool which allows you to get rid of any mark you've made. With the erase tool and the pen, what you can do is you can actually choose a different size that allows you to create a larger or smaller mark. One of my favorite tools that Piskel has to offer is the mirrored pen tool. This allows me to make a mark and Piskel will automatically mirror my mark along the vertical axis. If I hold down command, then that mark will be mirrored on the horizontal axis. If I hold down command and shift at the same time, then Piskel will mirror any mark that I make on the horizontal and vertical axis at the same time. You might have noticed whole marks that I've made disappear just like that. That's me using the undo command, which on a Mac is Command Z and on a PC is Control Z. There are other tools like a straight line tool or a square or elliptical frame tool that you can play around with as you explore more functions and features that Piskel has to offer. But for now, let's get stuck into creating some sprites for our paper, scissors, rock game that we're creating. The first sprite that I'm going to create will be my paper. Now I'm not going to go with traditional white A4, rather I'm going to make something with a little bit more character. And I'm going to create an old school style parchment type paper, complete with handwriting and a yellow faded look. To fill my paper with colour, I'm first going to choose my bucket fill tool. I'm then going to move down to my palette at the bottom and click on my foreground colour. From here, I'm going to choose a colour that's suitable for my aged parchment look. OK, let's speed this up a little bit while I add some shading to create depth and put my text in just with my pen tool. I'm going to use a couple of different colours just to make it look a little bit more authentic. And there we go. A beautiful, simple parchment sprite. To create my second sprite, I can either create a new frame in my current workspace or I can create a new sprite from scratch. With my new sprite, my rock, again the first thing I'm going to do is change the size to 100 by 100 pixels to give me a good space to work with. OK, let's speed it up as I create my rock. You'll see here that I'm doing my outline first. I'm going to add a little bit of shading to give some depth to my rock. I'm even going to come in with a much finer pencil to create a few little cracks here and there to give my rock some texture and character. Now it's time to create my third sprite. Again, I've created a new sprite editing space, changed my size to 100 by 100 pixels, and it's time to make my scissors. The first thing I'm gonna do is choose the right tool for the job. The scissors are an excellent opportunity to use my mirrored pen tool because the top of my scissors are gonna be exactly the same as the bottom. I'm gonna choose my color, a nice cool blue for the metal, and I'm going to go right ahead and really simply make my scissors. Finishing off with a really simple set of handles. Now that I've finished my third pixel, a quick check of all three to make sure that they're looking good and that I don't need to do anything else to them. 
The last thing I need to do is save my sprites. To do this, I'm going to head over to the right hand side of my screen and move down to the export option box. I'm going to choose PNG as my format. This will retain any transparency that I have in my sprite. If you've created all of your sprites as separate frames, you'll need to make sure the sprite that you want to export is the one that you have selected on the left hand side. Choosing the bottom option in PNG, you'll download each individual frame as a PNG to your downloads location folder on your hard drive. The default name of your downloaded Piskel will be New Piskel. Rename this as you see fit. Also, remember to move your Piskels to a location where you'll be able to find them again. You'll now have your three sprites ready to import into Scratch to create your rock, paper, scissors game. Happy game building!